Hi, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today we're going to look at Camtasia Studio 6. And let me launch that. And with Camtasia screen, we have um, pretty basic stuff. Record the screen, that's what you are going to click on to start the session. And there's also a button to record PowerPoints that you already have prepared. And we also have uh, on the left side the ad, if you want to add a title clip. Uh, or other things, voice narration, or if you want to record from your web camera. And then in the edit section, uh, several things I've used before, zoom and pan, callouts, transitions. If you want to add a little more to your Camtasia videos for your students. And in the produce section, um, mostly just use produce video as. And when you click on this, it takes you through the steps as do you want to save it as a YouTube video format? Do you want to save it as an iPad or iPhone format? Lots of different formats to pick from or just straight web formats. So that's your choice as you move through it and it make, they make it very easy to handle. So at this point, uh, and as we speak, you know, it's capturing all the screenshots as I'm talking to you about Camtasia. And you can actually get a 30-day free trial from uh, Camtasia that you can try it out and see um, how it works for you. Uh, let me just open one that maybe we can just, um, it's not finished yet, that we can just kind of put in our clip bin here. And I have it in the clip bin and you see it, if I click on this it shows up over here. Um, what I have separate here is the title clip which I just made a real quick title clip this morning that says faculty presentation. And you see it in the preview screen. Obviously this is the preview screen and you just hit play and it will um, walk you through the screenshots I, I already have uh, configured on this one. And it walks you through clicking on Camtasia and um, all the different steps involved. There's not that many steps. Once you work through it a few times, it's not that hard. There's nothing I'm going to try to teach today. I just wanted to show you what the screenshots kind of look like. And basically can capture anything on the screen you need to capture. So let me end this part there. or maybe I can pick it up with produce video as and this is the part when um, you're ready for the next step you've made the screen capture you've stopped it and um, you want to decide which kind of format you want well here's the list of formats um, we have um, YouTube of course and a blog format a uh, DVD ready format CD, you know, HD. HD looks really nice on the screen, however, it takes up an incredible file space, so it may take longer to download for your students, which that's why I would not recommend it um, unless they have a super fast internet connection. Of course, iPhone, iPod, uh, you can upload it to the Camtasia Screencast website. Um, so, and there's custom production settings as well. So, I typically um, format mine for YouTube and then I go to the next step and that's just naming it something. It typically maps to your C drive not your J drive and you just keep going through. And this one I've already done so it's asking me if I want to overwrite and I said sure that's fine. And then this is just it you know you finish it out and at this point it does the rendering and this is the part that probably takes a little while you know maybe 10-15 minutes it's going to take to render this project and eventually get it into, in my case, into an MP4 or MPEG-4 format that'll be appropriate for YouTube. And when it's in that, when it finally gets to that particular stage, then I will log into my YouTube account, and you do need a Gmail account for that, and uh, log into that and upload your video to your channel, uh, and uh, then your students can watch it as many times as they need to from that particular point. Thank you for your time.